big national story we're tracking this morning headline today has access Shashi Tharoor's statement that he reportedly gave to the Delhi police two days after his wife Sunanda Pushkar's death on the 17th of January last year. This statement gives some idea about what Sunanda went through on the day of her death. In his statement to the Delhi police, Shashi Tharoor had admitted that he had an argument with Pushkar that night, but uh, those had been resolved and she was happy and calm later. Tharoor maintains that Sunanda was not eating for two days. Tharoor fed her mushroom soup on the 16th of January 2014 around lunchtime as she had uh, vomiting sensation. She had uh, she'd only been having coconut water according to reports. In his statement, Tharoor uh, says that uh, when he reached the hotel suite after work, he asked Sunanda, Sunanda about her well-being only to discover that her body was unnaturally still and had turned cold. Sources are telling headlines today that an exhaustive questionnaire is being prepared uh, for Shashi Tharoor uh, for when he joins in investigations. Some questions could be uncomfortable and deal with the, the personal equation between the couple. He is expected to arrive in Delhi today and is uh, only a matter of time before he makes himself available for questioning. In the light of the fresh revelations that have led the Delhi police to file a murder case in the Sunanda Pushkar death mystery, the question of her husband Shashi Tharoor being questioned is not if, but when. The Delhi police believe that the Congress MP could answer questions that contradict the suicide theory. You are not going to get me to add anything more. Please ask the police any questions you want to ask and if you all believe you know a murderer, please go and convey the details to the police. The questions he is likely to be asked to explain are a crescentic pattern abrasion mark on the left hand. According to the Ames autopsy report, her left hand had a reddish contusion mark indicating that somebody may have bitten her hand during a scuffle. There are several other injury marks on her right arm. Shashi Tharoor will also be asked whether he had any knowledge of his wife getting into a scuffle with anybody in the recent time. If there is any bite mark present over dorsum of the hand, a maul should have been taken by the uh, autopsy surgeon so that in future the, if the suspect is at all found the Im dental impressions of that suspect would be tailored with this, these impressions which have been mentioned. Tharoor will also be questioned about an injection mark which is injury mark number 10 mentioned in the autopsy report. The report says this mark is a blue colored contusion on the right hand. In this connection, the Delhi police will also ask whether she hurt her right wrist while she was admitted to the Kerala Institute of Medical Sciences a few days before her death. Whether uh, she was ever admitted just before the death, three, four days before the death or five, six days before the death, in that case, it is now mandatory in every hospital for admission that an IV liner is put up over dorsum of the hand. So that uh, mark associate uh, appears to be associated with injection mark. Besides these questions, Tharoor will also be questioned about the nature of his relationship with his wife, on whether Sunanda could have gained access to any poisonous substances, about Pakistani journalist Meher Tarar's Twitter spat with Sunanda, the IPL angle and about the new names which have been revealed in the questioning of a domestic health Narain Singh. Sources say Delhi police is planning to quiz Shashi Tharoor at length. Other than his differences with Sunanda Pushkar days before her death, he will also be quizzed to find out who had bitten her and how come there were injection marks on her hands. And if Shashi Tharoor has answers to these questions, it will go a long way in unraveling the mystery. With camera person Yogendra Atar Khan in Delhi for Headlines Today.